So we're really excited to bring GIFT to Oshkosh this year. It's a, some really revolutionary technology that we've been working on for a number of years, and we think it's going to have a huge impact on the industry. We're taking simulators that have historically just been an airplane stand-in, and now they're delivering training to students, and it's a far more valuable experience for both the flight school and the customer. We cover 33 individual tasks and maneuvers, everything from your sort of normal landing to taxiing to we even have a couple of cross countries that help people plan and fly across country with the real-time feedback that GIFT provides. So GIFT allows both the student and the instructor to review the student's performance after a flight's been done. They can see everything from your basic raw numbers, altitude, airspeed, ground track, that kind of thing, up to the scores that we're generating based on the ACS standards that the FAA publishes. GIFT has been designed uh, to drop into any private pilot curriculum, and it's also technique agnostic. We view the simulator as a classroom, and it's based on a lot of experience we've had training pilots in, in our devices. The best place to learn a maneuver is always going to be in the simulator. The, you should use the airplane as a, as a place to demonstrate and show that you've, you can actually perform it. Obviously, that's where your, the final grade is going to be delivered, but the simulator is a far better classroom than the airplane is. So GIFT module consists of a video and written pre-flight material that the student can view online at home or at the simulator when they show up at the flight school. And then a mission that runs inside the simulator that has real-time feedback and coaching as they progress through the mission. And then we generate a score at the end. The instructors being able to see a student's performance both in an individual mission as well as that same mission over time allows them to better tailor their training to that student. So they can see performance trends and adjust how they teach a maneuver to the student so the student can reach their goals a little bit faster. The technology that GIFT is built on has a lot of really interesting applications outside of basic private pilot training. You can see things in the STEM education world, in pilot proficiency initiatives. You're going to see some really interesting things coming soon from this technology. Satellite and drone technologies are expanding the boundaries of possibility. They are changing the way we manage our resources, the way we make decisions, and the way we connect to one another. Yet with the power of these technologies comes complex challenges to operate at scale, deliver rapid insights, and produce actionable data that solves real-world problems. But now, from a global leader in space and aeronautics comes a bold new solution. Airbus Aerial is a comprehensive digital service bringing together the benefits of small drone technology, high altitude unmanned aircraft, existing Airbus satellite infrastructure, and customized software to manage data capture and analysis, providing truly actionable data to customers. This new service utilizes every layer of the data capture infrastructure, delivering a holistic view of high quality imagery and sensing solutions, for a wide array of industry applications. Providing deep insights through a customized software infrastructure that delivers analytical tools and rapid access to reliable information. Empowering customers to make decisions and solve real world problems. Imagine a future where the world is connected in times of need. A future where the next generation of logistics brings us closer together. A future where organizations have the insights they need to make decisions faster, reduce costs, and improve the lives of their customers. This is the future of digital services. This is Airbus Aerial.
Hi, I'm Patrick Carter, founder of InFlight Cam, airline transport pilot, and airframe and power plant mechanic with an inspection authorization. I've designed the InFlight Cam strut clamp mount to be one of the most versatile and FAA compliant mounts on the market. With an adjustable clamp made from CNC milled aircraft grade aluminum, the InFlight Cam strut clamp mount easily attaches to anything from a J3 Cub to a Cessna Caravan. The InFlight Cam strut clamp mount contains three main components the in-flight cam ball head mount to attach the camera to the strut clamp, the in-flight cam strut clamp to attach the mount to the plane, and a heavy-duty polyurethane strap used to hold the clamp in place. The in-flight cam strut clamp mount easily attaches to your aircraft in moments without the need for tools. After the width of the clamp is adjusted for the strut, the strap is fed through the clamp, wrapped around the strut, and then tightened by hand. This adjustability means you can quickly mount your camera on almost any strut or piece of aerodynamic tubing allowing you to capture epic shots with very little effort. To attach a camera to the strut clamp now mounted on your plane, you have two options. Attach action cameras such as GoPro or Garmin Verb to the three-finger fork, or unscrew the three-finger fork to attach cameras with a quarter 20 tripod thread. Now that your camera is attached to the ball head, it's time to aim the camera to get the perfect shot. With the clean design of the ball head mount, final alignment of the camera can be achieved with almost infinite aiming possibilities. Once aimed, lock it into place with the two set screws and included hex key. This secures the camera and has been tested up to 250 knots indicated airspeed. As an added bonus, the in-flight cam ball head mount that is included as a component of the in-flight cam strut clamp mount can be used separately and can be purchased separately if desired. On its own, our ball head mount allows you to attach a camera to almost any point on the aircraft with a number 6, 8, or 10 machine screw. The base, or spud of the ball head mount, is attached by screw directly to the aircraft. Two set screws secure the ball and socket to the spud. The precision milled aluminum three-finger fork attaches to the camera. By purchasing the in-flight cam strut clamp mount, which includes the in-flight cam ball head mount, you've now given yourself a multitude of mounting options, from strut to wingtip to tail. Now the question is, what does the FAA think about mounting a camera on your strut? In March of 2014, the FAA issued a memo stating that cameras can be mounted and signed off as a minor alteration by an A&P mechanic. That interpretation pertains to mounts that are permanently installed or require a tool to install on the aircraft. There is a long-standing interpretation that says anything attached to an aircraft that does not require a tool does not require a sign-off. This definitely leaves a gray area when it comes to mounting cameras. However, we do know that any mount signed off as a minor alteration by an A&P mechanic is deemed legal per the FAA's March 2014 memo. So get out there and capture your hero moment, flying your action camera through mountain passes, over glassy lakes, or simply around your home airport. The InFlight Cam strut clamp mount is in stock and available for $149.99 on InFlightCam.com as well as on-site at AirVenture 2017. Stop by to visit us in the GoPro booth 393 and take one home with you. We created Aero Innovate in 2008 with a goal of helping entrepreneurs and startup companies within the aviation and aerospace industry to help them commercialize their ideas into the marketplace. We recognized that there were a lot of really good ideas out there, a lot of innovative products that were being invented, a lot of really smart engineers and passionate people about the aviation industry who just needed a little bit of help to build a business model around their idea. And so we started with a pitch and mingle in 2009 to help showcase those technologies to entrepreneurs, to investors, to, uh, to industry, and really showcase those ideas and help them get their product or service to market. So in 2015, we started a full business accelerator program to help those companies. Right now we do it virtually, so we are able to help companies from all across the globe. We surround them with mentors. We surround them with industry experts who can help them really flesh out their business idea and take it to the next level of a business startup. Aero Innovate has the good fortune of being located right here in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, home of the EAA, the Experimental Aircraft Association and home to the world's greatest aviation celebration where we welcome 550,000 people to our community each and every year who have a passion for aviation and what better place for our companies to showcase their ideas than at the world's greatest aviation celebration. 
Drone Terminus was founded in 2016 by Joe McMillan and Mark Messina in Boca Raton, Florida. Drone Terminus makes an appliance that will receive and store drone-delivered packages. It's a smart, internet-connected drone helipad that can re recharge, transfer files, and monitor a drone's status while automatically receiving, storing, and securing packages. Pre-Flight Aviation Camp was founded in 2015 by Liz Duca in San Marcos, Texas. Pre-Flight Aviation Camp is for preteen and teenage girls. Their mission is to break stereotypes and inspire more girls to join the aviation industry. Classes are taught by female pilots who empower campers by relating aviation topics to broader life lessons. Take Flight Interactive was founded in 2015 by Brandon Seltz in Seattle, Washington. Take Flight developed an interactive flight training platform that provides virtual instruction on a variety of simulation hardware. Take Flight leverages game design techniques to drive engagement and lower time to mastery, creating safer pilots in less time at dramatically reduced costs. TELUS Aerospace was founded in 2016 by Russell Kirkman in San Jose, California. TELUS Aerospace has designed an acoustic liner that reduces the noise of an airplane's engine significantly. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Progressive Aerodyne's Sea Ray Elite offers turbocharged Rotax Power and Garmin G3X Touch Avionics. Incredibly well equipped, you can fly away in this best in category Amphib for less than $160,000. Visit CRA.com for more details. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com.
there's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. When the runway is hard to find, Four Flight's moving map and extended center lines keep you tracking toward the correct runway. Four Flight, the app pilots depend on. Drone Terminus is a smart, connected drone package receiver appliance that provides augmented sense and avoid data, reducing risk and liability. Third person perspective using the latest in ultra wideband scanning and infrared capture to detect real time hazards and communicate orders simultaneously with a drone and its operator. We offer inductive recharging to exponentially increase your delivery footprint, leapfrogging from appliance to appliance and route to delivery. Precision landing built to specifications, we can incorporate multiple technologies to accommodate any fleet operator requirements. Real-time status notification and large file transfer can help keep your flight plans up to date and your latest patches downloaded quickly. We're creating the infrastructure necessary for drone delivery to become a reality. Drone Terminus is scalable to accommodate multiple bays and can provide for delivery, returns, and even appliance to appliance transport, allowing for small business and consumers to deliver by drone. Drone delivery is around the corner and the Drone Terminus is helping to make it happen. What if you could detect the beginnings of an engine problem that might be 20 or 100 hours away in real time to avoid much bigger, potentially catastrophic failures? What if you could utilize torque data for each cylinder to optimize the performance of your engine without removing it from the aircraft? TCAT Performance Systems and 51 Aero Custom Flight Data have partnered to bring proven wireless torque measurement technology to general aviation. This easy to install system can directly measure torque and horsepower in real time without taking the engine off of your aircraft. So I'm, I'm utilizing this to, to, to push performance, but the real, the real opportunity here is that in aviation, especially in piston engines, there's very little inspection that goes on except for maybe an annual inspection where you check the oil and compression, things like that. Um, but there's a lot of the problems that this will pick up way before that potentially real time that would tell you that there's a problem developing the engine that may be 100 hours away, 500 hours away, that could potentially be a catastrophic failure. TCAT wireless torque measurement systems have been used in automotive drivetrain development for over 15 years. The NHRA's Team Kalita used TCAT sensors extensively to optimize their engine setup. TCAT is now working with air racers, aircraft engine manufacturers, and propeller manufacturers for design, test, and performance optimization. Recently, TCAT's torque sensor was installed on the internal engine component 
of a Thunder Mustang experimental airplane with a 600 cubic inch V12 engine. The owner races at Reno and is trying to increase his speed from 325 miles per hour to 400 miles per hour. TCAT and 51 Aero are partnering to help him get there. Dynamometer testing showed that the engine produced 560 horsepower in test stand conditions off of the aircraft. The TCAT torque measurement system and 51 Aero Flight and Sight software show an on-aircraft flight test performance of 541 horsepower. The TCAT and 51 Aero systems can also provide enough data resolution to see the torque output of each cylinder. Mechanics and pilots have not been able to view this level of on-aircraft performance until now. Here we have found a definite difference in the power output per cylinder. We can gain 50 to 60 more horsepower by optimizing all cylinders to achieve a more balanced output. This is a huge advantage, not just for racing, but potentially for everyday performance of any aircraft. The TCAT system is available either as an instrumented propeller extension or as a custom installation on many engine components. 51 Aero's Flight and Sight Analysis software integrates with several common engine monitors or can be customized to your aircraft. We have just begun to tap the applications for the TCAT torque measurement system and 51 Aero Flight and Sight Analysis software. Come see us on the web at tcatperformance.com and 51aero.com and take your flight to the next level. Whipair, the world's leading manufacturer of aircraft floats, is proud to introduce the exclusive Safety Enhancing Laser Gear Advisory, included at no additional cost with new amphibious Whipline float purchases, and available for retrofit on most Whipline float equipped airplanes. Introductory pricing for retrofit kits is $49.95. Installation ranges from $1,300 to $1,500 depending on aircraft model. The system continues Whipair's tradition of ongoing product improvements and safety enhancements. Pilots of amphibious aircraft are uniquely challenged with routinely moving between different conditions and landing surfaces. The Laser Gear Advisory provides intelligent as-needed alerts instead of repetitive ones that may be ignored during the busy transitions that amphibian pilots experience. Whipair's well-known amphibian gear advisory system, which features spoken enunciations to advise the pilot of gear position, has been standard equipment for years. The Amphibian Gear Advisory provides a verbal announcement every time the airspeed threshold is crossed, occasionally resulting in repetitive alerts that pilots may become immune to. In contrast, the Laser Gear Advisory is able to sense and report if the aircraft is above solid land or above water, utilizing laser technology, and only issues an alert if the gear is in the incorrect position for the detected surface. Upon turning the master switch on, the Laser Gear Advisory will initialize in approximately 90 seconds. After takeoff from a runway, if the landing gear is left extended, the system will remind the pilot, check gear above a threshold airspeed. The alert will repeat until the gear is retracted and the illuminated switch is pressed. A check gear alert is also given if an asymmetrical gear condition is sensed. As the airplane climbs through 400 feet above ground level, the system is silenced and will only become active after the airplane descends in preparation for landing. Descending through 400 feet above ground level, the laser is re-engaged, activating the illuminated switch which indicates water if the laser detects that the airplane is over water and land if over solid land. The Laser Gear Advisory compares the gear position, detected terrain, and airspeed to accurately advise the pilot of a mismatch in gear configuration. On the final approach to a water landing at approximately 50 feet above the surface and below the threshold airspeed, no alert will be sounded if the landing gear is up, though the illuminated indicator will show water. On the same approach, with landing gear down, the pilot receives an audible alert to check gear. 
If the landing gear is in an asymmetric configuration, the pilot receives the audible check gear alert. On final approach for a runway landing, below 50 feet above ground level and below the threshold airspeed with the landing gear up, the pilot will hear the check gear alert. On the same approach with landing gear down, no alert will be sounded. If the landing gear is in an asymmetric configuration, the pilot will be told to check gear. In the rare event of a laser malfunction, the system will revert to delivering the regular amphibian gear advisory enunciations. The WIP Air Laser Gear Advisory can help ensure pilots and operators of amphibious aircraft meet the goal of safer flight operations. From busy commercial operators keeping a flight schedule to weekend flyers headed off to the lake, the WIP Air exclusive Laser Gear Advisory provides an additional level of safety on amphibious floats. Contact WIP Air today for more information. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International, the world's largest nonprofit organization devoted exclusively to advancing the unmanned systems and robotics community, serving more than 7,500 members from government organizations, industry, and academia. The unmanned systems industry is growing rapidly by the hour, so it requires news coverage that can keep up. The partnership between AUVSI and Aero News Network helps provide that coverage. Airborne Unmanned is produced by the Aero News Network, the first 24-7, 365 real-time online aviation news service, now entering its third decade of daily news production. ANN has produced more than 350,000 news stories, 7,000 podcasts, 3,000 Aero TV features, and just over 1,000 episodes of Airborne Unlimited, a daily aviation and aerospace news program expertly hosted by myself, Laura Hudson, and Christopher Odom under the direction of Aero TV producer Nathan Cremesino. AAVSI President and CEO Brian Wynn explains that, quote, since it was founded in 1973, AUVSI has been dedicated to the advancement of the unmanned systems and robotics community. Today, the association remains committed to those founding principles by fostering the technical and commercial success of its members. Through this partnership with Aero News Network to produce Airborne Unmanned, AUVSI is expanding its reach to provide news and information about this growing and thriving industry Airborne Unmanned will complement our existing communications channels, including Unmanned Systems Magazine and the Daily eBrief, to keep AUVSI's members and the entire community informed of the latest technology innovations, business transactions, and public policy that are supporting the safe deployment and implementation of unmanned systems throughout the world. Manufacturers, personnel, educators, and companies working in the unmanned vehicle sphere are encouraged to reach out to ANN in order to introduce themselves and learn more about the Airborne Unmanned effort by emailing jim at aero-news.net or calling our offices at 863-299-8680. Episodes of Airborne Unmanned may be most directly viewed via airborne-unmanned.net. We look forward to working with the entire AUVSI Unmanned community through our Airborne programming.